the lowest point in the area. Okay, we are here about a thousand meters above sea level at this point. The above mountains you see it's 14, 13, 1500 meters above sea level. So this creates a problem which is water. This is a desert. By no means it's not anything but a desert. And people from the state probably know the state, the state of Nevada. The big desert in the states, right? And in the middle, there's this Las Vegas, which is the prosperous living part of the state. This is how Petra used to be. The Negev is the desert, and Petra in the middle is the living, prosperous life. And for less than 100 years from now, that's when archaeologists tended to analyze and study that all of the top mountains and some of the areas of Petra used to be full of trees. Okay, that's how prosperous it was. Anyway, water is their most precious commodity, yet it is their worst enemy because water will be gushing down. Why I said we need to hurry up? Because it is until this day the same phenomena, which is the flash flood. When it comes, it will be not just water gushing down, also big chunks of rocks, which is devastating. Okay, so the Nabataeans needed a way to redivert the water plus to collect it. And behind us, and all the way there, that is the path that they've created to redirect the water away from their holy trail of the earth. Plus, it goes all the way around the mountains to the back end of the city where they collect the water in a big dam. So now they use the water, plus they protected their city. Okay? That's what they did. Something else, remember the, the spirit blocks? There is a fourth one over there, you see it? Remember its place so we can explain about it in the story later. Now, I'm going to be a priest here for some minutes, so bear with me, okay? <laughs> anyway, in the story of baby Jesus, we have three wise men coming from the east towards Bethlehem. That's where they brought him the three gifts, okay? And the east of Bethlehem is where you are. This is, the, this is the east of Bethlehem. And they brought the gifts, the frankincense, the myrrh, and gold. Now, it's not me, good friends with Christian here. I bring him those gifts on daily basis. No, they are not simple gifts. They are offerings to the gods back in the day, especially the frankincense and the myrrh. And they brought it from Petra, and that is the only reason we know it's from Petra, because no other place than Petra sold those commodities. Until this day, we still sell it, okay? I will show it to you in a bit, plus I will show you another art of Petra, which is carving. Remember I told you all of what we see is carved? The simple facade I showed you, the steps going down and up. A team of archaeologists recently tried to mimic or to do a copy of it in the U.S. It took them six months to finish for just a simple facade, okay? I will show you small pieces that took them more than a month to finish over here, okay? Questions? No. We will stop over there to see the frankincense and the myrrh and 